I am Michelle Barone. And I'm Mark Malone. And it's time to wake up with Rhinebeck Bank. And it's a great Monday morning, and I have to say the craft brew industry is alive and well here in the Hudson Valley, especially where we are today, right, Michelle? Yes, it is. We're at Millhouse Brewing Company. So excited to be here today. They've done a beautiful job on this restaurant. The food is delicious. The beer is delicious. Oh, unbelievable. Absolutely. you got to come check it out if you haven't. And today we have a very special guest with us. We have Jamie Bishop, who's one of the brewmasters here, and uh, we're going to learn a little bit more, not only about the restaurant, but about the brewery itself and what's going on here. So, uh, Jamie, welcome. Jamie. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Good morning. Thanks for having yeah. us. This is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> you know, and the brewery has really become a staple here in Poughkeepsie, yeah. and it feels like we've been here forever, but it's really relatively recent, no? Yeah, 2013. No, wow. 2013, that went quick, huh? That's unbelievable. It does feel like it's been a long time. How'd you guys get started? You know, um, it was a genesis of a great team. Um, we had the Baxters, who yes. have been known in Poughkeepsie. They're great builders, and they were kind of the major investor here. Then we had a, a great chef, talented rock star, Danny Crocco, who spearheads our culinary program the here. The food is awesome. It's amazing. I mean, it's, it's an interesting amazing. menu, too. It's different than anything else that's out here. You know, world class. Absolutely world class. And then, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to find a, a business opportunity with my best friend, Larry. So and uh, he's the other half of the beer here. So it's, uh, it's a great rock star team, and we're having a lot of fun. Fantastic. So let's talk about the beer. I mean, there's so many different varieties here. I know you guys love to experiment. How did you get into brewing? Well, it's funny. Um, you know, my wife bought a, a brew in a bucket kit about seven, eight <laughs> years ago, and I started in my basement, and Larry and I were uh, tooling around there making wine, and um, beer just really caught our fancy, and we just got obsessed with it and couldn't stop. And wow. before we knew it, we were making too much to drink, and we just started sharing it with the world. That's so that's, cool. That, that's a great story. How did you get connected with the other owners? You know, um, through restaurants um, in the local area, they were restaurateurs. And um, Larry loves to go out and eat, and he would bring this excess beer quantity that we couldn't <laughs> consume and share it with people, and they tasted it and uh, requested a meeting, and the rest was kind of history. Wow. And now uh, you're expanding, right, throughout New York State? You know, so. we're, we're fortunate enough to have some great growth. We built a new brewery. Um, we've expanded the beer footprint almost to the entire state of New York. Wow. Um, so we're, uh, we're staying busy. That's exciting. So you've, you've outgrown this building, and now you're brewing in another location as well. Absolutely. So we built a 20-barrel production facility about six wow. blocks away. So we're still here in Poughkeepsie supporting our local community, um, creating new jobs. We definitely need to check that out. Yeah, we have to check that out for sure. Absolutely. Creating jobs. And earlier, off camera, you said something about 40-something jobs? 47 jobs to date wow. Millhouse has created. We're very proud to employ uh, local members of the community. Um, it's amazing that something that started out as an idea is now to fruition. 47 jobs in this county is a big deal. It it really is a big deal. And uh, hopefully we're going to grow many more. Fantastic. So uh, as we grow, we'll need to hire more brewers and more people to support that effort. Yeah, absolutely. Tell us about some of the beers you have on tap now. So um, right now our newest beer on tap would be Jack's. Awesome. Uh, kind of a very special beer for us. So we make Belgian beers here, and they're all named after family members. Um, so this one particularly was named after Jackson, who is Amanda Baxter's um, son. <laughs> so a third born, uh, third generation Baxter to us. So we made a triple in honor of that. All right. I, I love the theme behind it. That's so it. awesome. Yeah. And then we have uh, many other beers. We do a German style classic Kolsch, uh, an American Amber. We do one off stuff. We play around with our pale ale and do some dry hop stuff. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of R&D here. Uh, we've created 36 beers in less than three years. Wow. Is it, is it kind of like a team effort between you and Larry, or does, does one of you come up with one beer and the other comes up with You know, it's a team effort with everything we do here at Millhouse. So whether it be the food, what you're seeing around you, uh, the beer, um, everyone's involved. There's many hands that touch the process. What, what's your favorite beer? You know, it's hard because they're like babies. So how do you how do you say which one's better? Because then somebody get, somebody's going to get mad at me. So I don't want I want that to happen, but honestly, Larry would probably tell you, or anyone else in the brewery, um, the most common beer found in my hand is a Hubar. It's okay. our double IPA. It stands for Hopped Up Beyond All Recognition. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, hoppy beers are delicious. Absolutely. I mean, it's fantastic. Wonderful. Yeah, you know, and um, I think they've changed, so you get a lot of flavor, a lot of aroma, which is really what we're known for. Mm -hmm. um, not egregious, but really balanced mm -hmm. IPAs, balanced beers in general. Wow. Excellent. You got to show us around. You know, we'd love to. I, we'd love to make me take a field trip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. See this new place? Sound Absolutely. good? Excellent. All right, cool. Sounds let's head good. over. All right, thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. My name is Larry Stock, one of the head brewers here at Millhouse, one of the owners. Why don't I come and uh, show you our brewing facilities here at the restaurant? 
sophomore in the brew house here at the restaurant at 289 Mill Street in Poughkeepsie, New York. Uh, this is a seven barrel brewing system made by a small boutique manufacturer called Portland Kettle Works out of Portland, Oregon, all U.S. manufacturing, U.S. steel. Uh, we have uh, uh, basically what's a large hot liquor storage tank, hot water storage. Um, we have our mash tun here, which is where we mix our grains with our hot water, basically steep it, make a tea of sorts, and start to extract sugars. And then here is our boil kettle, which is where we will boil the beer, add hops per recipe, and at that point we chill the beer. There's a chiller under the stand here, and it goes down to the basement underneath us where all the fermentation takes place, and uh, the beer then moves to a bright beer tank and is served right here on site through our own taps. Let me show you quickly downstairs where uh, our sugar water actually becomes beer in a fermenter. Welcome to the basement here at Millhouse Brewing Company. This is where all of our fermentation takes place. So, you know, we were in the brew house upstairs. We really make sugar water in that room. And down here, we actually pitch yeast. And in these fermenters, over the course of two to four weeks, depending on the beer, is where it actually does become alcohol. And uh, at which point, we move it down the way to another room where we serve it out directly through our taps here at the bar. So now we're in the bright tank room here at Millhouse Brewing Company. Uh, this is where all of our beer gets served directly through our faucets here on site. So we either store beer in these large bright beer tanks or they are served out of kegs. But either way, it's all freshly made here and served directly through our own faucets to our customers. Why don't you take a quick trip with me? We're going to go uh, six blocks across town to our new production facility where we're making beer in much larger volumes to go out and uh, share with more people in the world. Well, welcome to our North Hamilton production facility. Uh, thank you to our partnership with Rhinebeck Bank and Roy Shemitz and all the great people there. We we're actually able to finance all of the equipment I'm going to show you now uh, with Rhinebeck Bank, so thank you. Um, this is our brew house here. Uh, to give you an idea, we make about 6,000 pints at a time here at the brew house I showed you at the restaurant. We make about 1,800 pints at a time. So we also have fermenters that allow us to run a, what's called a double batch here and actually make about 10 to 11,000 pints at a time. But this is our brew house, a lot of the same equipment that we, show, we, that we saw at the restaurant. So we've got our, uh, our hot liquor tank over here. Uh, we have our mash tun, which is kind of hidden in the back. Uh, we have an additional vessel here, a louder vessel that allows us to uh, have a little more control over the production process and also a little, a little speed up. And then our boil kettle. Again, that chiller, we got to chill it down to yeast pitching temp uh, when we're done with that boil. And then we come over here to the fermentation side, which again, this is where our sugar water that we produce, uh, we feed yeast and it becomes beer. So we have 20 barrel vessels. And then we have a 40 barrel vessel down there. Again, you know, two to four weeks in these tanks and it's pretty close to being ready to be served. All of the beer we make in this facility gets put into a keg and goes out of the door to distributors. Uh, we do have a canning line coming, however, uh, that is going to uh, allow us to be uh, also having retail placements so you can look for us in your local gas station craft beer coolers or uh, you know your, your local major retailers and find us in the can as well. So if you want to take a walk down through, we actually have active fermentation going on in all of these vessels right now. These are all filled with beer. It all ends here at this guy. This is our bright beer tank here. So here we tax determine our production, put it into kegs, and send it off to our great uh, network of distributors throughout New York State. Let me bring you over to show you our cooler where once we package it, uh, it's stored for uh, distributor pickup. Come with me. So in this cooler, we have either beer that is ready to be picked up by a distributor or our inventory that uh, we have in storage to eventually send out to a distributor. But, uh, you know, it's all kegs at this point. But like I said, we, those cans are coming, so keep an eye out for them. 
So thanks again for coming and taking a look at Millhouse Brewing Company. Really happy to show you what we're doing here. Uh, if you haven't been in, you need to come in. We've been open for three years at the restaurant. Uh, if you're going to come in on uh, Friday, Saturday nights, definitely make a reservation because we are still very busy, which is awesome. So thank you to uh, the community for all of that. Um, Midweek, if you're looking for a quieter experience, uh, we are closed on Tuesdays. It's the only day we take a break. Thank you. That was such a fantastic tour. I have to say there's so many great things going on here at the Millhouse Brewing Company. I want to thank Jamie and Larry for giving us the tour today and also talking with us a little bit more about the brewery. If you haven't been here, come check them out. Awesome. Oh my gosh, the beer is amazing. Even though, you know, right now I can't have any. I'll have soon, some Michelle, soon. soon. Very soon. And this, I'll definitely be coming here. Thanks for tuning in and check us out next Monday at 8 a.m. We're right here on WakeUpRhinebeck.com. We'll see you next week. See you then. Bye. Bye.